Oftentimes, you learn better when you eliminate as opposed to implement. Today's video is going to teach you what not what not to do on defense in Madden 18. This is something that I spend I spent a lot of time thinking about, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. The number one problem that I'm seeing across everybody's gameplay in Madden 18, especially when it comes to defense, is they just they they focus more on tips and strategies of what to add to their game as opposed to what eliminate to what to eliminate from their game. And the reason that that is such an important statement, guys, is because you learn more and you actually improve when you eliminate stuff, eliminate mistakes, than when you add things, okay? So this whole video is about that. I'm going to give you three things that if you eliminate these three things from your defense, if you focus on these three principles, you are going to really dramatically improve this year. The number one thing to eliminate in defense in Madden 18 is to not run multiple sets. Do not run multiple formations. The reason I say this is because defense is a very simple, um, you don't have a lot to work with. You don't have a whole lot of tools this year. They've really, really trimmed down the hot routes. And the, and the, the frustrating part about it is that it really does affect the defense more because the defense is a little bit more difficult in this year's game. And so what do you, so what do you do? What, what, how do you handle it? What, what do you do? What's your next step? Well, your next step guys, and this is, is to eliminate is, is to not make these mistakes. And so why I say only do not run multiple formations is because if you run multiple formations, the offense is going to know what you're going to do before you do it. They're going to know, especially the good players. When you get in the best, every single person I talk to at the competitive level, if you ask them, what if if you ask them how many formations do they run on defense most if not all of them are going to tell you i run 1 to 2 1 to 2 1 to 2 sets okay why do they do that because most if not all of them believe in this in this simple principle of making everything look identical making everything look identical and what you take away from that is when you eliminate the excess formations, you focus on the ones that actually work and can really add value to your gameplay. So, um, as I think a really boneheaded interception there. So, take away from that, eliminate eliminate formations, because again, if you look at the 4-3 under, you're going to see very similar defensive sets, and defensive play calls that you're going to see in the 4-3 um, over, you're going to see it in the 3-4 under, they're all the same. There's not much, there's not much crossover. There's not much extra. Okay. It's all the same. The second thing that you need to eliminate in, in takeaway, the second thing that you should not do on defense in Madden 18 is you should not user the defensive line. And in my opinion, you should not user different players. Okay. You should use the same player every single time. I recommend the little the middle linebacker. What I see a lot of people doing is that what will happen is the offense, they'll have something like what I call a constraint theory play, where basically what it means is it's a special play for a special situation. And what will happen is it'll dot the defense up, and they'll be like, I don't know what to do. So what will they do? Well, they will go play cornerback as opposed to middle linebacker. Even though they normally play as a middle linebacker, to stop this play, they say, well, I should be the corner. In my opinion, don't do that. Eliminate that. Use different tools and different strategies other than that. Because whenever you start using different players, it it changes the whole dynamic of the defense. Because now the offense knows, okay, well, then I can adapt. And then it becomes a game of when are you using the middle linebacker versus when are you using the corner. And if you guess wrong, the offense will destroy you in this year's game. So that's why I say always use the same player. Always use the same player. Don't make that mistake. A lot of people do. And then the last one, and this is probably the most, the biggest mistake. The number one mistake people make in Madden 18 by far. Um, before we get to that, though, if, the, if you're watching this video and it's your first time on my YouTube channel, I want to welcome you and I want to ask you to do me a favor. If you can leave a comment in this video to let me know how did you find the channel. And then the second question is what can we help you with here at the channel? So just let me know in a, in a comment. But the number one mistake people make in Madden 18, by far, on defense, here it is, 
they try to do too much. Okay? They try to do too much. They try to they they either try to blitz too much, they try to take away too many things at the same time. They they just try to do way too much. And as a result of trying to do too much, nothing gets accomplished. Nothing gets accomplished. So what ends up happening is you spend your whole time trying to make all these adjustments and, and just destroy the offense that you end up, you know, with no deep coverage at points or there will be times where they're just they're so they're trying to do so many things that they get caught on a corner or something. And then what happens is the, the offense just dots them up, throws it deep. And what what I what I believe they what I believe it comes down to is they try to stop everything instead of focusing on one or two things. You have to narrow your focus, especially on defense this year, because it's so daggone difficult to be effective. And again, you want to focus on being effective as a defensive player. You don't want to be the best. You don't have to be the best. You need to be um, effective. Okay. So what what can I take away from the offense? And oftentimes that's through a specific defense. For example, I believe cover two is, is is a very effective base play. And here's essentially why I believe that. Because with cover two, um, what, you, what, what you're allowed to do and what ends up happening is it forces the offense to throw to a specific section of the field. Okay? So that's where I'm going. When I, when I narrow, when I narrow and I only run one or two plays, they have to go. I know exactly what they're forced into throwing. And then what happens is at the right time, I, you know, with my play calling, I can then I can then force them to have to go to somewhere else. That's where I say cover two in combination with cover four or cover two man or whatever you want to combine it with. That's where it can really work to your advantage. Um, that's why I'm OK if they hit me over the middle of the field, because I know that's that's where this play is primarily. That's its primary vulnerability. I know that going into it. I know exactly where they're probably they're, they probably have a chance at, at, at getting me. But what ends up happening oftentimes is they don't throw there because just like you try to do too much on defense, most offenses try to do way more and they end up getting confused and they can't most mo, what I'm finding the number one problem with people on offense this year is, is they're trying to do so many things that they can't read the defense. They have no clue. They have no clue what to look for. And, and then that's where they're running into issues. So just apply that and think about that. Chew on that a little bit. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to blitz every play. Don't try to stop every single thing. You're not going to. Don't. Here, here's the biggest thing. Uh, let me leave you with one, one, one last piece of advice, and then uh, I'll let you go. Most people try to show how great they are instead of actually being great. And uh, it's my belief that the players, the, the people that do the best job in Madden, especially on the defensive level, they don't have to show you how great their blitz is. They don't. They just they just win. They 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 systematically destroy people, and it's not because their blitz is always the best. It's not it's not because their 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 user skill is the best. It's not because it's just systematic, subtle little things that just demolish people. And I want to leave you with that and I want to encourage you that if you need more help on the defensive side of the ball this year, buy my defensive ebook. It will help you out. And if you're also looking to help for help on the offensive side, we have a combo so you can check that stuff out. The links are in the description for the guides.